look what I came across, an old Milwaukee beer can. This is like, you know, really thick. It's not like the modern ones, cheap ones. Someone brought this up here, because this has not been sitting out in the sun for 50 years. That's funny. Okay, the way to <clears throat> Baker Butte is the same way that we traveled to Hutch Mountain. It's really beautiful. That big mountain, which is snow-capped, is um, Mount Humphreys, which is right over the town of Flagstaff. It was funny um, getting up at 5 a.m. hearing all kinds of noise, like kids running down the hallway and stuff, college kids. And then by 6 o'clock, I'm out there walking with my dog. A couple of people, a couple of these college kids greeted me, happy tequila sunrise morning. And I'm like, do I look drunk? You know, or what? what's going on? And um, then one kid stopped and told me that they wait till 4.30 in the morning and that's when they wake up or they stay awake until that time and start drinking at that time. And then they go out and the bars open at like 9 because they, they're aware of this. So I'm just basically surrounded by all these really enthusiastic, drunk, not drunk, but in slightly inebriated youth. Like just walking my dog and then I went to breakfast downtown and went through that general uh, vicinity. And uh, oh my God, they were lined up at 8.30, so thick, long, at all these different bars. And then I get on the road and all the way down this main highway from town to here, I'm passing these college kids. Looks like, you know, age bracket 18 to 22, 24. And they're like practicing, they're like marathon runners. So they're just picture of good health, you know, age-wise, um, really slender, you know, running fast, these kids. Um, so it was kind of a dichotomy. You know, I'm surrounded by young kids that are all just like, Wee! Wee! you know, <laughs> being very unhealthy very early in the morning. And then I... 15 minutes later, I'm driving by all these kids a little bit older, but just the picture of health, doing the most healthy thing they could probably do. You know, but cardiovascular is getting a bad rap lately, if you notice, but um, I think it's great, because I, I was in the swim, I was a swimmer in high school, and just to always get that blood pumping so strong and just blow everything out, you know, all that... Um, stuff that could be gunking up your veins just kind of blow it out imagine like having like headers on your car or a turbo that you really punch and it just you know it just blows <laughs> so much dirt that's why that exhaust that comes out at that time is so much thicker right it's just blowing everything out that's kind of what I feel like good cardiovascular is but anyways I'm rambling on
beautiful day. Oh, here comes traffic. Okay, we weren't able to go any farther than that gate. There's my car over there. And we're hiking up the trail. Right, Ozzy? So we're hiking up this trail right here. Bad leg and all. <laughs> okay, we just came up that trail right here. And the trail keeps going, but we're in thick snow. I'm in tennis shoes, darn it. I forgot my boots. And Ozzy's got a bad leg. So this is about as far as we are, we're gonna go but it was just a gorgeous ride. It was like an extra 19 miles pass where we turned off for Hutch Mountain. And uh, it got really more mountainous and curvy, nice curvy roads would have been nice to be on a motorcycle. But um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We'll come back some other day when Ozzy's leg is more healed and when I have boots. <laughs> Loving it. He's in such a good mood. He's just kind of ignoring his leg. So I know it's going to be really problematic later. But I got some good pain pills for him. Okay, you guys. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the adventure. Talk to you guys later. Well, that was a bit of a letdown for me. I hope it wasn't too much of a letdown for you. But it was good to see um, Ozzy so enthusiastic being up and out in the snow. That's the first time he's been running around in powder. Not real powder, but pretty darn close to like first day powder. It's the third day, you know, but it was snowing that night at nine, like nine to 10. And we got up here, you know, in the, in the um, at early afternoon, so. It was nice to see Ozzy enjoying himself. I know he's going to be paying for it tonight, but I got some pretty strong pain pills. I got two different levels. I've only given him the strong level ones because it knocked him out cold, um, like the whole afternoon. So I might have to break down and give him one of those. Anyways, a uh, bit of a letdown, but I really enjoyed it. I'm still sitting up here in the parking lot where we parked before the trailhead. Um, and it said on my phone just a quarter mile, but I'm guaranteeing you we walked over a quarter mile and that's when I showed you was that V in the road where we started going up a whole nother jack, jackknife. <clears throat> Thanks for coming along. Talk to you guys later. God bless. <laughs>